Kristen, you were saying that um, there was something about the seven days in Intibi, you had a little bit of a, of a qualm, a little bit of a problem with it, with regards to the accents? Yes, because they talked so much uh, about the accent in the press conference. They said that you put so much effort in it because Rosamund Pike, as a British person, is playing uh, a German uh, terrorist, and Daniel Brew, as a uh, German guy, is playing someone in English with a German accent. Right. And, um, they said they really tried to have an accent of the people in the 70s, so not perfect uh, mm -hmm. speaking, but I think it was rather too good. Right, and interesting. Yeah. I, think, I mean, as yeah. a non German native speaker, I, yeah. I, I, that, that part completely went over my head. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's so it was sounded, it distracting? Not really so much, but a little bit because I was in the press conference first and they talked about it, and so I listened and said, okay, this is too good. Nobody spoke so well English in the 70s. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Can I mention the t shirt of Rosamund Pike was in the 70s? It was early 2000s. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, anything else? We saw this morning the new Gus Van Sant film, and that kind of uh, segues quite well into it, considering we mentioned Gus Van Sant, uh, mm -hmm. Elephant, for the uh, Utoya film. The yeah. press conference was probably more entertaining than the film. Right. So Joaquin yeah. Phoenix was not having a good time. Uh, no, he, he was, was. He was borderline asleep, wasn't he? He was bored. How about questions? just rude? <laughs> mm. Yeah. I come from, we call it bad manners, but hey, I guess. If you want to say bored, fine. Right. Yeah, so he closes his eyes and shows us how bored he is. Right. Thank you. Well, I, I found the film quite unremarkable. The performances were fine, but uh, it, the, the film is called He Won't Get Far on Foot. Uh, don't, don't worry. worry. Don't, worry, don't worry, worry, he won't get far on foot. It premiered at Sundance. And. Uh, Lukewarm reviews, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I, and it won't. I was, yeah. I was expecting worse. Yeah. But, but I think it's already almost forgotten. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's a problem. It's one of you watch so many movies and but then, but then again, for movies like this, it's it seems to be a recurring trend yeah. this year that uh, the majority of the films just have this kind of lukewarm effect of yeah. just you forget it within a few Absolutely. hours. Mm -hmm. Apart from a handful, including yeah. like, I hate to have to kind of ramble on or, or, or you know be a scratch record about this, but mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, apart from you, Toya. Sorry, we have to hurry up. The DJ is setting up. Right. So what okay. did you do today? So yeah, I watched. Uh, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I watched um, the Iranian film Pick. Yes. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fun. Okay. Yeah, if you like this kind of humor, we will have fun. I what think type so. of humor? Uh, so a little bit dark. Very okay, dark. cool. Yeah. I like, that. I like right. it. Uh, so that's a recommendation. Uh, then a bit Generation Vols. Um, wow. The documentary. Oh, right, yes. Yes, and. I really loved her, her movie uh, Queen of Versailles. Mm -hmm. And I was oh, in it. Yeah. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Yeah, exactly. I have mixed feelings about this one because it fo not focuses only on this generation thing, but also at her as a person. So there was so much of the director in it. Which mm -hmm. I liked. Yeah. Because she said. You, you interviewed her. Yeah, I interviewed her, and it was great. But she said she's a participant and a critic, so that's yeah. why she put herself in it. Yeah. I liked the film. I gave it a, a nice rating. I was quite okay. shocked. Yeah. How, how was she in the interview? Wonderful, very, very articulate. That Harvard education show. Yeah, it was. Good. We're essentially being played off by the music, so I think we're going to have to uh, limit wrap it, it up. But what's going to happen is that we're going to do a wrap up of the Berlinale in a few days' time, so keep. Uh, Keep tuned for that. I will be talking a lot about some of the interviews I had with uh, the director of Shut Up and Play the Piano uh, in particular, which you interviewed as well. I interviewed him, great guy, and yeah. Shockwaves, I love that. Right, yeah. so. Yeah, we talked about Shockwaves. Yeah. So yeah. thank you very much for tuning in yet again, and we will uh, see you very, very soon. The champagne is getting warm. Let's go. <laughs> yeah.